you may be thinking maybe it's this product or maybe it's this thing when really it could be your water okay <music> super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of this amazing channel called curly chemistry where i help you guys understand your hair and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective and i also help you guys buy hair care lines as well and today i am talking to you guys about hard water hair damage okay and i feel like this is such a hidden topic that not a lot of people talk about and it's it's a it's, it's a real thing hard water hair damage is a real thing and you may be thinking maybe it's this product or maybe it's this thing when really it could be your water okay you guys know i waste no time let's get started okay so first of all what is hard water now hard water is water that has a high mineral content and the higher the mineral content, the more hard the water is, the harder the water will be. And in this case, we're talking about calcium and magnesium. Now, as you guys know, our water comes from the rain, right? And as it travels through the ground, that's when it starts to pick up these mineral deposits, these calcium and magnesium, for example. Now, with that being said, even though it may go through like water filtration processes within our city system, it still has the possibility to come out of our shower. So that's pretty much what hard water is. And let's talk about the effects of it on our hair. Now with calcium and magnesium being within hard water, the bad thing about this is that these minerals are alkaline. Alkaline in our hair does not mix at all. And on top of that, alkaline substances do have the ability to affect the performance of our shampoos and our conditioners. So you may have a really good shampoo or conditioner at home, but you're not able to see the full performance and effectiveness of that formula because of the hard water coming from your shower. So that's number one. And then number two, alkaline in our hair cuticle once again does not mix because substances like calcium and magnesium have the ability to lift the cuticle and with that lifting leads to a loss of moisture retention leading to dry hair dullness and ultimately breakage and damage and there's even some sources that says that these calcium and magnesium deposits can remain on the cuticle and that can also hinder how our hair retains moisture as well so with that being said let's talk about some prevention and solutions now the First thing I want to recommend is getting a water quality test. A lot of times your city will give this kit out to you for free so you can actually test the quality of your water to see how hard or how soft your water is. So that's the first thing I recommend. Secondly, I would say look into getting a water filter that can filter out all of these mineral deposits. And even better, if you can find one that filters out fluoride, that'd be a great option as well. I do have a few that I recommend in my Amazon store. I'll post the link below in my description box. Next, I wanna say always follow up with a leave-in conditioner or a deep conditioner somewhere in your wash day routine to combat that dryness that's associated with hard water. Next, I'm gonna also say to do some level of a acidic rinse. Of course, the most popular is apple cider vinegar rinse. Not only is it great for making sure the hair stays acidic and not alkaline, but also if removing buildup like these calcium and magnesium deposits that can build up on the cuticle. Another thing you can do is let your final rinse be with a bottle of distilled water. So you can keep a bottle of distilled water in your shower somewhere, and before you get out of the shower, just rinse your hair with that distilled water and distilled water is amazing because it is the absence of these hard minerals like calcium and magnesium and last but not least as you guys know always follow up with a leave-in conditioner or an oil to support moisture retention and to also protect the cuticle as well all right guys we've enjoyed this video and learned something new if you like this video please be sure to like this video and to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content definitely hit the subscription button and notification bell to stay in the loop and of course I do have a question for you guys. What is your current favorite hair tool that you are loving right now? Maybe it's a certain white tooth comb, 
Maybe it is a certain scarf. Maybe it's a certain hair steamer. What is that favorite tool that you are loving, that hair tool that you're loving right now? Comment below, let us all know, and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. If you're interested in learning more about your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective, definitely check out the Curly Girls Got Hair Care Ingredients, the Natural Cures and Flashcards, and the Practical Solutions for Natural Hair. These are amazing resources that I created just for you to make this hair care journey so much easier. So definitely check it out. I'll put the link below for more information. If you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.